Now, one more challenge seen off, and six and six will be on the podium here in Calgary in this sprint. But it's the Flyers, the Bayern Express, Toby and Toby. Next out, Bengal and Art. Through the beam, what's the speed like? Oh, it's good, the fastest. Bengal and Art there. The kind of pair that can keep that momentum with a good slide all the way through the key phases. The green light is well and truly on for Bendel and Art. This is a big advantage at the top of the course. Error free, and this will be the lead into Labyrinth. Nicely off the wall. Oh, no attack. It's all gone wrong. This is going to be a problem. They're carrying speed, but is it going to be enough for Bendel and Art to hang on? And they do. Well, they must have been absolutely flying to cover an error like that. Uncharacteristic, messy stuff from Tobias Vendel and Tobias Alt, but it's good enough for the lead. Six and six bumps a second. The Dromovics and Kalnins, their Latvian compatriots, bumped to third. Germany lead with two to come. Fendlin, Fendlin I'll take over as the leaders for Germany with Pence and Fischler of Austria next out of the gate. <laughs> Excuse me, then it'll be Egan and Benekin to follow. And the excitement, you never know when the hiccups are going to hit you. Let's hope there's no hiccups here for uh, Pence and Fischler. Not the fastest through this speed gun, but it's not the be all and end all when it comes to sprinting. That is the outer reaches though of finding something. You can usually shave a couple of thousandths off through this labyrinth section if you get it right, but it's tough to recover and they are not recovering. This might be the podium for six and six right here. Oh no, they're coming back. Pence and Fischler with a strong finish. Well, it looked like that was all gone, but that was a tidy bottom section through 13 and 14. They actually lost some time at the top. Good enough to beat six and six into third, though. That bumps Gudramovics and Kalmins into fourth position. One more to come. Fend Lenart retain the lead. There they are. Not been uh, much of a season in terms of delivery for them, so this will be a welcome win. Little time taken there from Megan and Benekin to get into position. But they're in position, but that's slow through the speed gun. They're going to have to rely on their line here. No errors at all is the only way they're going to get close to Vendel and Arp. Clean so far, but that's a lot of time to make up. Next split, the situation not improving. In fact, it's drifted even further. 0.1926 six and six were off the pace, so there's still room for a podium here for Egan and Benekin, and they've done it. Another team that found a lot on that bottom section. Egan and Benekin then dumped into third place. Pence and Fischler for Austria in second, separating the two Germans. But it's Wendel and Arts, the two Tobies, that take a sprint win here in Calgary at the second event of the season. And knock six and six off the podium. Latvia finishing in fourth and fifth place. Italy's best performance coming from Oberstolz and Gruber in sixth. Well, it's a good head-to-head -head between Wendel and Arl and Egan and Benekin in the regular season. Pence and Fischler, though, keep getting in there, don't they? Another podium for the Austrians. But it's a win in the second sprint event of the season.